so, um, the thing with this one is it's a very short book. Really, only one chapter long. Well, only 21 verses long. <clears throat> really, that's it. So, uh, it can fit into one video. Yeah, so this is me reading it, the discussion video about it. Because, well, um, yeah, you're going to be <coughs> discussing its contents. <coughs> okay, and that's it. Yeah. Anyway, Obadiah. For some reason, they give it a subtitle. Obadiah's vision. This entire thing. It's just 21 ch chapters. There is no other subtitle. So I have no idea why they felt the need to give it. Now this is obviously the translation. The translators. Not yes. Bible. Bible doesn't have the subtitles. Anyway, the vision of Obadiah. This is what the Sovereign Lord says about Edom. We have heard a message from the Lord. An envoy was sent to the nations to say, Rise, let us go against her for battle. <coughs> See, I will make you small among the nations. You will be utterly despised. And pr the pride of your there's, yeah the pride of your heart has deceived you, you who live in the cliffs, of the rocks. Or the of or of C L C S. I need to start S E A L. And make your home on the heights. You who say uh, to yourself. Who can bring me down to the ground? Though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. Yeah, they oppress people, rape, murder, pillage, and attack Israel. <coughs> Actually, even didn't let Israel through their land. Even when Israel said, we, we won't take anything, we won't touch anything, let's just move through. <coughs> Yeah, Edom was not only very wicked, but also just plain out jerks. Uh, but some people are going to try to say the, that God is punishing them for no reason. Only because they probably believe the exact same things Edom did and have no problems with them and try to justify themselves. Yeah. It's... Just repent, people. Please. Please. If seeds come to you, if robbers in the night, oh, what a disaster awaits you. Would they not steal only as much as they wanted? If grape pickers came to you, would they not leave a few grapes? <laughs> yeah, that's true. If thieves show up, they take what they want, leave what they don't. I mean, you're not going to find your house completely empty if a thief comes. You're still going to have, like, your socks and other stuff. But how he saw will be ransacked as hidden, no, his hidden treasures pillaged. Also, if I sound mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to. It's just... I'm trying to point out to people what some people are like. No, no, but some, in hopes, not only they will turn, but other people will realize a dark and wrong path and not go down it. <clears throat> All your or allies will face, or will force you to the border. Your friends will deceive and overpower you. Those who eat your bread will set a trap for you. you know, 
The meaning of the Hebrew for this clause is uncertain. So it probably mean, uses similar words that mean pretty much the exact same thing and it doesn't matter much. <coughs> Some people are going to make a big deal. It, say, it says it proves many things when it doesn't. <coughs> but you will not detect it in that day, declares the Lord. I will not destroy the wise men of Edom. No, will I not destroy the wise men of Edom, those who, of understanding in the mountains of Esau? Your warriors, Teman, T-E-M-A-N, will be terrified, and everyone in Esau's mountains will be cut down in the slaughter. <coughs> because of the violence against your brother Jacob, Attacking them for no reason, and saying them, pillaging them, doing all sorts of horrible things. To get some people try to justify for some reason. By justify, I mean by saying God is doing the wrong. And no, these people are. <laughs> God's rightly punishing them. Yeah. You will be covered with shame. You will be destroyed forever on the day you stood aloft while strangers carried off his wealth and foreigners entered his gate and cast lots for Jerusalem. You were like one of them. You should not gloat over your brother in the day of his misfortune nor rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor boast so much in the day of their trouble. <coughs> in other words, not only when Babylon in Assyria showed up, did Edom help, but he also, Edom bragged boast of how great they were and how terrible Israel was. Yeah. Not only is, can you imagine? Okay, imagine your neighboring nation. A foreign power comes in and invades your country. Your neighboring countries don't just sit. Some of them sit by and watch. Others help. And others just hurl insults at you. Who in your nation? Yeah. Pretty terrible. Some do all three. That was Edom. Yeah. You should not march through the gates of my people in the day of their disaster, nor gloat over them in their calamity in their day of their disaster, nor seize their wealth in the day of their disaster. You should not wait at the crossroads to cut down their fugitives, nor hand over their survivors in the day of their troubles. So, imagine you escape this horrible thing that's happening to your country. And your neighboring countries, instead of just letting you go or taking you into refuge, no, they either try to kill you or they take you captive to hand over to the invading force. Yeah, again, they're mocking you. They're helping. Uh, they're doing absolutely nothing to stop these people. And they'll kill you if you try to escape or send you to the people invading your nation depending on what they're feeling. Yeah. Edom was not a good nation. Not a good brother to na Israel. Wasn't a good neighbor to Israel. Well, and all their sacrifices, worshiping many other gods. <coughs> and other thing, horrible things they were doing. The day of the Lord is near for all nations. All nations. Just want to make that clear. 
all. None. Don't get none escape punishment. Some people think some do. No. As I have done, it will be done to you. Your deeds will return upon your own head, just as you drank on my holy hill. So all the nations will drink continuously. They will drink and drink and be as if they have never been. But Mount Zion will be deliverance in the whole. It will be holy and Jacob will possess his inheritance. Jacob will be a fire, and Joseph a flame, Esau will be a stubble, and they will set up a f set him on fire and destroy him. There will be no survivors from Esau. <coughs> the Lord has spoken. People from the Negev will occupy the mountains of Esau, and the people from the foothills will possess the land of the Philistines. They will occupy the fields of Ephraim and Samaria, Benjamin and Gled, G-I-L-E-A-D. This company of Israelites exiled who exiles who are in Canaan will possess the land as far as Zephyrath, Z-A-R-E-P-H-A-T-H. The exiles from Jerusalem who are in Shepherd, S-E-P-H-A-R-A-D, with, no, will possess their, no, the towns of the Negev, in e g e v. Deliverers will go up on or from Mount Zion to govern the mountains of Esau, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. <sighs> yep, that's Obadiah. A warning to Esau. A lot to talk about. No short, got it.